What's going on everyone? How are we doing? Ladies and gentlemen, great day today. It's beautiful out. Uh, not really hot at all. And I'm going to try to take advantage of that. I know it's going to get warm later. You know, I thought about making videos and what I could talk about. And I'm going to go back to the beginning. 14 years ago when I started my business. And today we're going to talk about business loans. I still remember my experience with it and maybe you've had similar um maybe you've never went for a business loan but i'm going to tell you what happened with mine um well i can tell you first of all i did not get a business loan um, and we'll go into why and the process and how you go about getting one and is it difficult and uh i will tell you um, we didn't even get through a third of the process. It is that difficult. Um, it is not for your typical man or woman trying to start a business. Um, they're not there to help you. That's for sure. So uh, we'll get into it. But uh, got to get these two behind me done. Soaking wet. Dew all over them. Uh, and uh hey i gotta get to work i'll see you guys soon we'll get footage maybe maybe even here i don't know see you in a minute Okay, there's what it looks like before it's cleaned up. What a wet grass nightmare. It's all over the road. So, let me see what we can do here, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here it is. Looks a lot better. So, I had to blow out quite a bit of the yard just soaking wet everything is soaking wet but that is well 
I guess that's the new norm in uh, Ohio for summertime. Not usually, but uh, I guess that's what we're going with now. So there it is. And uh, we'll be back later in the video. We'll talk about uh, the topic today. Ooh, man. Okay, so I've got at 11, got four done, so seven more. So got some big ones. Let's get to it. All right, guys, this one's next on the list. It is a really good size yard because you got to do all the curbs all the way down past those bushes, all the way down there. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to Ron Drake with Ron's Lawns Crystal River. He called me yesterday and he said, well, he actually sent me a message on Instagram and he said, hey, Doc, the um, when your new hedge trimmers start to make a chattering noise, you got to get the grease in the gearbox. And they were chattering throughout that whole um hedge trimming job yesterday i got home um and i did buy the steel grease in the tube and i talked to ron and he said that's the best kind to buy so i stuck it down in there man i was squeezing and squeezing and squeezing you would be surprised at how much it takes and another thing ron said is when you take the cap off of it even on your trimmers when it looks like there's grease in there Sometimes that grease just hangs on to the cap and doesn't get down in there. And so you have to push grease into the other side, man. So, uh, Ron, thank you so much. That was a huge tip. I'm telling you guys, you learn something new every day. And you learn that this is Grand Central Station. Uh, although, I think all the moms are out shopping like they do every day so uh anyway i'm gonna get this one done we'll get into it i'll tell you what i i remember now i was 30 38 when i went to the bank with my father to get this business loan and the minimum you could get was fifty thousand dollars and you know my dad said hey he only needs a mower and a trailer and a trimmer and blower and stuff and at that time you could get all that all of it for around 10 grand i know crazy isn't it and the guy said well we we don't offer business loans for anything less than 50 and my dad and i were talking we said well you know what we could do is get to 50 and buy what we need and then give them the 40 right back mm -mm. no go baby i think it's no bueno i'm not sure what that means but no go they said you cannot pay anything back now this was at that time you couldn't give the 40 back within the first three years or you were penalized i'm telling you business loans are not for business guys like you and me small people they are for big corporations big businesses brick and mortars people spending thousands uh, they asked me how much i needed for payroll I, I said man i'm gonna have a truck a trailer a mower and i'm gonna be by myself oh well we can't do that you got you got to have something in there for payroll anyway we'll talk about it here in a little bit let me get this done it, it is wacky guys it is wacky and the only way you're going to know what to do to get one is if you go to college and that is just the honest truth unless you are just smart beyond belief it is a insane process so we'll talk about it i'll see you guys shortly okay guys there it is all done and two left for the day these take about half hour 45 minutes to do usually most about 45 minutes so i will see you at the end of the tour and uh please save your questions until then 
and feel free to ask after that. So let me get these last two done. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, guys, I'm going to get right into this thing. So I did a video a long time ago um, how I got started. Well, I never did get a loan from the bank, okay? Um, they wanted three years. Now, this is back then, so don't anybody say he's incorrect. This, it's not the way it is. I have no idea how it is now. But what it used to be is you had to have three years of profit and loss statements. Well, explain to me how you're supposed to have, and yeah, I've been in the white dust. Uh, well, kitty litter. How are you supposed to have three years of profit and loss statements when you haven't even started your business to get, because you need the loan to get started? That was the first thing they asked us. Then they said, what is your business plan? We need a five page report of your business plan. I don't even know what a business plan is, folks. I never learned that when I was going to school, okay? We never wrote up business plans. So you almost have to have a college degree to get a business loan. Um, it, it is absolutely not for the working man. It is for someone who is opening a brick and mortar, like I said, or someone who's got a father that's in business that knows what exactly a business plan is I've never heard of a business plan don't know what they are and profit and loss statements you're not going to have those if you've never gone to work if you need the loan to go to work you're not going to have a profit and loss statement for three years now I've got 14 years of them now but when you first start out it is almost darn near impossible to get a business loan. So do what a lot of guys do. And I did not have this opportunity. But work, do it part time, save your money, buy your equipment. Like I always say, you don't need brand new. I never started with brand new. If you guys saw the Skag uh, 52 walk behind that I had you would have laughed me off of YouTube okay and I actually put this on people's yards it was orange but it was rust orange the entire deck was almost completely rust there was no cover over the uh, belts the handles didn't work right it was a chop job baby let me tell you it cost me 900 bucks and uh, I loaned that money, I borrowed that money off of my dad, and he told me, you got 30 days to pay me back or else never again. And believe it or not, 27 days later, I paid it back. And I only had four yards I was cutting. I was doing everything I could to get that money saved up, trust me. Anyway, there it is, man. If you want a business loan, now somebody let me know if somebody watches this and has recently tried to get a business loan for a lawn care business, let me know if things have changed because I don't know. This was, like I say, 14 years ago, man. Anyway, we're getting ready to get some major rain. God bless me today. I was I was just praying like, Lord, please let me get done in a decent time. I was running a little behind, had to do a yard from yesterday, had to fix his uh, underground dog fence, which was above ground, and I accidentally snipped it when I was trimming hedges the other day. So I got home by 2.30 this afternoon, and that's 11 yards and let me tell you how much driving. Fifty miles of driving. So that's a blessing, man. Lord has been good to me. And uh, we're supposed to get rain here in like a half hour. We're supposed to get rain tonight, rain all morning. So chances are 
pretty much done for tomorrow. We'll see. I may have a video for you guys doing some maintenance stuff because I've got my buddy Dalen coming over with his uh, tiger cat. And uh, we'll see. But uh, as always, guys, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real and pray. Go to church this weekend, guys. If you do go to church, let me know that you attend church regularly or you've been recently. I'm truly concerned about you guys. I will be praying for all of my viewers, anyone who leaves a comment. I certainly will. And if you have something you want me and Sarah to pray about, just let us know. You guys have a great day. Love you all. God bless you. Peace.